Uh, today we mainly talk about the USB meters. Uh, nowadays, you know, uh, everyone has a phone. Is there any questions? No, oh, every, everyone has their phone, but uh, they do not know, and, and they need a charger to charge the phone. No question, yeah. So, there is a problem that uh, if our charger are uh, charging our phone um, according to their term parameters. Let me continue. Uh, you, you know that uh, we, we need a charger to charge the phone and the charging speed, we, we cannot see that. Uh, we can only know that the time it costs to charge a phone from zero power to full power. Uh, if the time reduces, it means the charging speed is higher. But if we want to know that the real charging speed, uh, what we need, uh, you may say that uh, we, I can download an app and we can see that uh, the charging voltage and the current. But the app uh, use a, a sensor on the phone and it is not accurate. So we need a USB meter to show you the charging voltage and the current. Uh, of course, you can use other, other USB meters, not just from our store. Uh, I just uh, introduced what a USB meter can do. And if you have any questions, uh, you just leave comments and uh, uh, I will reply. This is UM25. Okay, first we talk about the product itself. Uh, here I I show you four USB meters. Uh, on the bottom there are three uh, UM meter um, USB meters. Uh, UM twenty UM twenty four communication version, UM thirty four communication version, and UM twenty five communication version. Uh, you may ask why I talk about the communication version because. Uh, for each of them, they have two versions. One communication version, which means you can use a PC software or app to control or view the data from your phone, not just from the panel on of the USB meter. The second version is a non-communication version, which means you can only check the data on the uh, panel itself, uh, it, can, it doesn't support app. Or PC software. Only the meter itself. So it depends on your needs to uh, see which version you need. And uh, at, the pro uh, at the description of each product, uh, you just go to the product page and go to the uh, description uh, section and you can see there is a comparison chart which shows the difference or uh, functions of each USB meter and uh, what uh, software it is they, they support. Uh, there are many uh, notes before send before buying so just a reason uh, to make sure they are what you need okay, they are uh, um they are um meters 
uh, we have three kinds. And this is our USB-C uh, USB meter, uh, which can test the uh, voltage and current of a USB-C port. You know, nowadays uh, we use charge uh, we use charger to charge our phone, and if you want to uh, use PD protocol to charge your phone, uh, which means high higher speed, uh, you need to use a USB C charger to charge your phone because uh, the charging speed is much faster, much faster. Now we introduce how to use them. Uh, here is a, a USB-C charger which support fast charge and uh, now I'm charging my phone. Let me turn on the power. Now the phone is now the phone is under charging now, but you do not know the charging voltage and current, right? Because there is no display on the on the charger, and uh, your phone only tells you that it is under charging. So we need to connect. Okay, this is our USB meter. And before using it, you, you can see there are many switch, switches on the meter itself. Uh, you just focus on this two. Uh, one is power switch. Uh, when you use it, sorry. Wait now. Wait. Now, you just focus on the power switch and the PD switch. Uh, when you use it to uh, test the voltage and the current, uh, you just uh, put the power switch to on position. But the PD switch, you must turn off it because uh, you are using it to check the voltage and current, not use it to trigger a fast charge protocol. Okay. Now I inserted it into the charger, but the display doesn't light. I use UM25 to make, make you a comparison. Uh, I let you to know, uh, show it more clearly. Uh, the UM25, you can rotate the screen so that you can uh, check, the, check it uh, more uh, conveniently okay now you can see i didn't didn't connect any load but uh, the um25 it can show you the charge charging volt output voltage at the port but for the uh, tc66 uh, it doesn't display light because uh, there is no voltage at the output this is the work mode of the USB port, not the um, device problem. Uh, you can know that the, the work mode of USB-C port, there are CC line inside. Only when it detected that, that there are loads, 
connected, uh, it will release power so that your meter will work because there is power passing. But for this uh, UM25, it use it, it doesn't have CC line uh, inside. So as long as you inserted it, uh, the USB port will output the power. So there is. Uh, so there is no um, no load connected and it will show uh, your the charging voltage. If you want it to output the data, you need to insert a load connected. You can see it is charging now. Now you can see the charging voltage, charging current, and the charging, uh, charging power. And then he, you can see it clearly. It is using 9.2 volt and 1.9 ampere uh, to charge the phone. So it is fast charge protocol because usually uh, it is only for uh, because usually it is only uh, five volt and one MP for normal output. And uh, if you uh, usually the USB meters work together with the uh, electric load. This is for uh, if you want to decoy a uh, load connected. For example, you want to set 5 volt 1 ampere, you just use it to set up 5 volt 1 ampere. Let me see. And adjust it to one and pay. Okay. You can see on the top I set one and pay and uh, it uh, shows uh five volt five point two volt and one and pay. And I disconnect it. It is five volt. Uh I can tell you uh easy way to check the quality of the charger. You use the uh, load or an USB meter to test the charger without the load. It shows uh, the charging voltage is about 5. Uh, this is the normal voltage of a uh, normal charger. And uh, you Connect a load. You can see the voltage increase a bit, uh, which means the charger is good. Uh, but I need more test. Uh, the first step, it is good. Uh, for a bad quality charger, when you uh, connect a load, the voltage will decrease a lot, uh, decrease a bit. Uh, if the voltage decrease, uh, so it is the first step. Uh, you you can know it is a better charger, better quality charger. Uh, a good quality charger easy way test uh, way is that when you connect a load, the charging voltage will increase a bit. Because uh, there will be voltage drop on the on the cable, and uh, if you want to use five volt to charge the phone. Uh, it needs to output a bit higher uh, voltage so that on your phone your charging voltage is still uh, in the normal way. Of course, this is only a simple uh, 
a way to use the uh, uh, USB meter itself, uh, use it to uh, check the voltage and the current value when you are charging your phone. They also have other functions. Uh, you can use your app, you can use your phone to you can use your phone to download a app to control the to control the meter. You can control the display uh, interface. Uh, you can uh, page uh, go to uh, switch it to the um, first uh, uh, the previous page, the next page. Uh, it depends on you. You just use your phone to control the setting. Uh, now we talk about the other functions of the USB meters. They do not only show you the charging voltage and current, they have other functions. You can see there is a LED uh, blue light shining. Uh, this, is, this is a Bluetooth function. As I said, they have two versions. One uh, communication versions which can use Bluetooth to con connect the PC software or the app. Now I turn on the app, I can show you how to connect it. So, you can see I press the Find button. And there are two UM twenty five C need to be connected, and I just connected the lowest. Okay. Uh, you can see here, uh, the phone itself shows the charging voltage and the current uh, on the panel. And uh, you can use your finger to zoom in and zoom out the graph to see it more clearly. And here, you can see uh, you can set the brightness of the meter. This way. Oh, you can you can see the screen of the meter, and uh, when I. This is a level zero, the darkest uh, screen. And this is the most bright, bright uh, this is the brightest uh, screen, okay? And uh, on the, here, you can see the screen of time. I set it to zero, so the screen will never be turned off. Uh, if you set it to one, zero, one minute to nine minute, uh, the screen will uh, work one minute and uh, it will screen off, but it is still working. Uh, if you want to see the display, you just press any button and it will show you the data again. You can see I press the next button, so the interface will change. Or I can press the previous button. Just you press the button to uh, to uh, control the display. And uh, on the top, you can see there is a export. Ex there is a export uh, button. Uh, press it, you can uh, export the data to an Excel file uh, and you can download it.
so that you can uh, check the data uh, on the Excel chart. Uh, I need to uh, tell you that uh, uh, the X races is not time, it is record time. Uh, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not uh, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., not this. Okay. This is a um, uh, uh, display of the uh, UM25. So as the UM uh, TC66C, it also has a uh, uh, USB meter uh, app just connected and then you can see the charging voltage and current uh, the function of the USB meter is thin uh, so I do not uh, uh, introduce it again now we talk about the other functions of TC66C Now, uh, I do not connect anything, but I turn on the PD switch. Uh, it lights. Uh, we need to check what the fast charge protocol that the meter support. Okay, now press the K2 button and press K1 button. It is better to okay. Now you can see the protocol detection page. Uh, the there are many fast charge protocols you can see. And uh, some of them are displayed in green, and some of them are displayed in red. The protocol in green, which means uh, the supported uh, fast charge protocol that the charger, it, the fast charge protocol that the charger support, and the protocol in red uh, shows the protocol it doesn't support. Uh, so according to the this page, we know that it support uh, QC 2.0, 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt. It then support 20 volt, and it support QC 3.0, uh, QC 3.0, and uh, PD PD protocol. For Samsung protocol or Huawei protocol, it then support. Uh, there is one more uh, advantage of this meter. You can use the power supply goes uh, coming from this way to this way, or you can connect a uh, power which goes from this way to this way. 